Yeah, build it ourselves, yeah. mate. A couple of carpenters. Easy, Timber. Man. Timber. Here he goes. We'll work hard. Put the hammer and nails on. I don't need the to-do list anymore. No, we don't need that anymore. We could just cruise in here yeah. from, from where we are now, Gab. Uh, episode 45 of the 9 to 5 Fitness Podcast. We got a big fish. As we, we got like, a big fish, mate. The it works. Fish. We got it in. Who, who we got? <laughs> What's his name? The man, Zach Fisher. Oh, my God. So exciting, mate. Thank you very much Thanks for coming to the podcast. Man. Appreciate it. Yeah, no, it's exciting. Um, we have been trying to line this up for a while. Uh, we finally got here. A few formalities first. How did you sleep, Gab? Uh, yeah, really well, to be honest. What about yourself? Yeah, like a baby. Zach, how did you sleep? Uh, yeah, good. Uh, I got, got me eight hours. So, yeah, uh, Christmas drink. So, I've been here. So, yep. yeah. found the right one. Oh, you found it. It's locked yeah, in. We got it. Good, good to know. Yeah, got a, a few weekly, weekday drinks. You can't complain. Do yeah. You, no, do I don't really. Pres- yeah, I'm, maybe I'm boring. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm not the guy you want to hang out with. I'm just the boring bloke. Yeah, you're the boring one. But that's all right. Um, Spotify wrapped. Yeah, it is a Spotify wrap day today, every year, December 2nd. It's been on for like the past four years, I feel like. Mm. I'm really interested in it. What about you? Yeah, well, mine was pretty grim, like personally, but I forgot this year that we have our own podcast. So you yeah. actually get different analytics. So I just wanted to talk through a couple of them. Um, we first appeared on the charts in February 13, uh, 2021. Um, you were on the charts in Australia for a total of 69 days. So we were, that's a good number. Yeah, because, a bit funny. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, a bit funny, but how you going? Um, our peak position on the charts was number three. So you're with a couple of big fish here, yeah, absolutely. Zach. Um, and then 2,180 fans listened to more than one podcast. Sorry, wait, listen to you more than any other podcast. That's oh, what geez. I was looking for. So that's pretty good. That's actually a lot of people. That's a lot of mate. people, mate. <laughs> um, and then 96 fans years. spent their birthdays listening to you and that's all for Jesus. Yes, I hope the birthday months. got a bit better than just listening to our <laughs> annoying voices. It's boring. boring. Yeah. What, what, what did yours come up with? Like you're wrapped. Oh, have a guess. What do you reckon? Rap or some horrible Yeah, no. Nah, most listened to artists, Playboy, Cardi, Future. Yep. Um, Young Thug I think that was yep. like the main thing 101,000 minutes listened Yep Yours was a bit different wasn't it? Yeah Bit of a juxtaposition Yeah bit bit flattening Mostly Dean Lewis But Zach you're on Apple oh, Music I feel so left out today It's almost the day that I just turn off the Instagram Yeah um, But I don't know why they don't do it Because I actually love to see My top five listened You know to Yeah well they others. should I feel like I saw someone say There's an Apple Music replay Or something like that Like mm. a, their own copycat Yeah version just of it. get on Spotify mate It's pretty simple yeah, It's like five I actually pay for my partner's Spotify But just yeah. still pay for Apple So still, here I am <laughs> Yeah um, such if, if you had to guess What would be Your most listened to song Artist I know you're a big Sleepy um, Hollow fan Yeah he would be up there I can maybe like even Lil Uzi or... Yeah, yeah. he was on mine. Yeah. Oh, was he? Horrible. It's, it's hard to think because it's such a long year and I just like go through so many phases. Yeah. Sleepy would be up there. Up yeah, I've been running pretty hard. Yeah, your favourite song was, uh, what is it? Lean, Wait On Me. Wait On Me. With Chef G. Yeah. 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 You're across it, mate. mate yeah. Don Toliver. Don Toliver, yeah. yep. New is album? It? No, yeah. I still haven't given it a The old album with like, uh, what's that song with Quavo and like Offset? Oh, so you know that? <laughs> you don't know what's going on. Let me know. Oh, Lemonade, yeah, it's a good tune, but yeah. The cracker. All right, well, can we get into the podcast? Yeah, we can have a conversation that we can all all get into. I just wanted to touch on a few of Zach's kind of stats because you're just, you're a numbers man. So born in 1998, same as us, so he's 23. Picked 27 in the 2016 draft from WA, a good WA boy, got my Ben Cousins top on today. Uh, played 73 games, kicked 31 goals, 179 centimetres tall and 76 kilos. I'm not going to have got a few centimetres on that on Wiki. I don't know how I got there. You reckon you got more? I'm going to 177, but I'll take it. Yeah, right, you'll take it, mate. Every day. Oh, 100%. Don't, don't tell us that. I've got one on that. Like Nick Dacos, he's listed as six yeah. foot. I don't want to like put yeah. him under the bus. He was that tall. And, was like, <laughs> mate, and everyone calls me a short kid. But maybe they're just 181, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Hang on a second Nick yeah anyway so let's get into it we've got a few quick fire questions yeah, for you um, who's your hero uh, Benny Cousins is my hero yes. um, I've got all the street X gear shirt the street X yeah. plug in any, any sponsors yeah but, plug uh, yeah Benny Cousins or yeah. Chris Chuck Chris Chuck yeah, yeah. Too. biggest fear uh, the deep blue sea it's the mm, petrifying really? especially if I can't see the bottom just because of like the sheer depth of it like oh it's sharks like if, my worst nightmare is like falling off a boat and then like them leaving are you a good swimmer? Terrible. Yes. Oh, really? Yeah, How do you go in like swimming components for? Um, no, not good at all. It's, probably, <laughs> yeah. it's just so hard and get like, a life it doesn't go well with my last name, but yeah, it doesn't. Can't swim. Can't swim. Unlucky. Okay, good. Uh, what's the next one? Uh, best you've played with or against? Um, 
Best I've played with would like 2009 Paddy Cripps is yeah. pretty impressive. Yep. Um, and obviously Sam Walsh is, is incredible. Maybe what he can do is like very impressive. But against I'd say um, Robbie Gray, he's mm, just really? where his bunnies. I think he the kicked, Iceman. He kicked yeah. um yeah very close. I think he kicked like five goals in a quarter. Yeah. Like yeah. Eight shots and he's yeah. That's scary. I'd say him. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, well, I did not expect that, to be honest. You like Robbie Gray. Yeah, I did like him in the final series. Yeah. A pretty clutch play. You can just, like, always depend on him. Yeah. yeah. Um, now, your go-to meal, like, your meal, if you only had one for the rest of your life, like, what would you be going uh, for? Nando's. Mm. Um, half chicken with a classic pita and then just some yeah, but what, and chips. What base thing? <laughs> uh, hot. Yeah, good man. Really? No, I let it yeah, He's a letter of her. Yeah, so <laughs> oh, <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so what's a favourite Gatorade play? Um, I have seen I don't want to yeah. say it is watermelon because I've seen your video <laughs> but I won't say I'm, I'm, grapes up there for me as well I'd oh, say yeah. watermelon or grape yeah good man there's so like this glacier flavour or ice free so it's also yeah. good but they're, they're not too many bad ones but like mm. orange or like a common one I feel like pretty chart I used to always get the um, the watermelon because they had the twist lid yeah. on yeah. the day. a cracker a cracker so, how times change mate yeah <laughs> literally yeah where'd they go I don't know oh, too much plastic surely yeah I don't know worst part of playing AFL um maybe just the social uh, it's probably the good and the bad like you obviously you can get a following but um the criticism yeah. of you know doing mm. the thing you love um mm. and if you don't play a good game it's you know I, when I was before I got drafted used to pay my own fair share of like you know Eagles players out but yeah probably, probably without yeah, have you ever like got like had bad backlash from a particular game or anything um, like that? Yeah, I had, went through a stage where I kicked um, ten points in a row. Yeah, and yeah. as a small four, that's criminal. So yeah. isn't that a bit of feedback on that? And uh, you know, probably warranted, but you know, I would have rather kicked him. Didn't sure. Lewis Jetta have something like that um, when he first started? Lewis, Jetta, I think he kicked like twenty points in a row or something really? in his first like twenty games or something. Yeah. Mate, the stress. Oh, even that. um that um. Being that his name is Daniels from GWS. Yeah. He 18 points and he kicked his first goal oh, that's in that right. round 19 or something like that. Yeah. But I remember when um, Higo had like a few, he missed a few set shots oh, yeah. or something like that. And people were like slating him in, like, because he's like one of our mates now. So yeah. I was like, shut the fuck up, dude. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. shit happens. Yeah. Like, he's a gun. Like, yeah. honestly. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, before getting to Ark, would, would have been the first one to, you know, give some shit in the house. Yeah. Just, like, <laughs> yeah. You can't, like, um, especially when you become friends with, like, you know, athlete yeah. players, etc. cetera. But, yeah. um, you know, it's their thing is just to ignore it, you know. Yeah, yeah. Nobody what really cares, but, you know, it can get you. Yeah, you know, well, it's all part know. of the job. What's yeah. your favourite sport outside of footy? Um, basketball, mm-hmm. but probably watching, uh, probably oh, cricket. Yeah. So, NFL is probably my favourite to watch at the moment, but playing basketball. Yeah, who do you support in the NBA? NBA. I don't support any teams anymore because, like, I used to be a big Kobe fan, but then... The way, the way the NBA is like every the whole roster gets traded every season. Yeah, so, yeah, it is pretty yeah, hard to have so like I just loyalty. Players, my favorite player is D Lo. So yeah, Timberwolves. What do you think of Josh Giddy at the moment? You've been following him. Yeah, he's yeah, he's. I like him. He actually yeah. can like play the game, obviously, but. I like his TikTok. Yeah, well, how well. funny is it? <laughs> I, I love the game. I love the game. I love the game. It's a cracker. Uh, what do we got next? Uh, oh yeah, favorite way to spend your day off. This is your last um, last quick fire. It, uh, in the off season, I, I yeah enjoy playing basketball with my brothers, um, but probably in season, um, playing co- cod with the boys. Yeah, and like well, because you know you can't do too much physically. Yeah. So being able to hang out with those guys. Um, yeah. Are you on the body? PC. P- uh, controller PC now. Yeah. Maybe yeah. upgrade. Oh, cute. Wait, what's that? Control? Is that? No, I think he just plugs a controller into really? the PC. Yeah. 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 Huge. I might get into that because uh, I'm looking at getting yeah, into it. Yeah, do you reckon you'd be any good? No. Yeah. <laughs> Same as me, mate. I'm terrible. <laughs> it's it's a part of my brain that's deficient at shooter games. So. Yeah. yeah. You look good at FIFA, aren't you? Yeah, I'm mad. Good. What you, mate, I would embarrass you in front of your family. <laughs> like, <laughs> every skill move. I disgust him. All right, well, let's get into it. So... In terms of the AFL, you're lighter than most. And yeah. like, have you always been a smaller player? And like, how'd you find kind of coming to the AFL at your size? Yeah, so I was telling you guys before, but yeah, yeah. I drafted at 60, 62 kilos, which is pretty, pretty small. And it's funny, I can, um, like, I was probably smaller in when I was playing like Waffle and Colts yeah. and 18s. And I feel like I'm actually. Not, not as small as what I was compared to the, like you know the other players. Yeah. Um. I think in in the AFL level there is you know a position for every size. Mm. Um. 
where in the junior leagues it's big is better almost. Mm. Um, mm. But it's always been like that and I think um, coming to the AFL and trying to put on size, of, um, I've always been like that. So it's kind of transitioned. In yeah. I haven't had to play a different way at AFL level. I've mm. yeah, just played my way, I guess. So you're, how, how heavy would you have been in your first game? 62? Uh, I reckon maybe like, yeah, maybe like 68. Did, did you did you get crunched or was it just like the same kind of thing in, in no in yeah because I just played the same I've never really been someone to body up or mm. try and overwhelm someone with my strength or anything like that <laughs> so just trying to you know use my agility and my speed and um, you know have the skill I, you know all the smaller guys I feel like a crafty small forward yeah. so yeah just use that yeah that's what Hugo was saying you need to have tricks in your bag yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Good. one touch sort of player yeah. Um, yeah I think that's key yeah so as you go through kind of like the AFL, obviously now you've got access to all these gyms, like perfect nutrition and so on. Have you ever found yourself trying to kind of compromise in agility and speed and fitness uh, to try and bulk up, put on size? Yeah, I think it's, um, I think every player will go through the phase just to try and find the balance. Uh, I'm not saying I've got, I've got it completely right or anything like that, but yeah. um, you come in and you try and put on weight and then, um, and then you want to be fitter. So then you, cut back the weight and then just yeah. keep playing this cat and mouse game with it. And even like, even to this day, you want to go on the off season, chuck on heaps of weight, but then yeah. you don't want to be too heavy so you can't run for the two or, you know, just run out games, etc. But um, yeah. I think, yeah, you just can't compromise too much on fitness and stuff. Yeah. Now, yeah, especially where it's going. Yeah. Like it's just, it's all running. It seems like a concentrate off, like even you say, as soon as your footy season starts, like you just the weight just shaves off, or like yeah. it's impossible yeah. to bulk up. Yeah, and I think it's um, just important to get to a stage where you know you feel really strong in your body and you can compete still. Yeah. And also your because you don't want to give away your one wood to compromise just to yeah you know, fit in. be stronger. Let's just say so. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm feeling pretty strong at the moment, but I you know I'm still definitely. And at the stage where I can show my tricks. Yeah, well, if you put on too much weight, you start getting injuries as well. Like you, it's yeah. so risky. Do you have any major goals like physically for your in the off season now? Um, yeah, so we've got the 2K coming up on Monday and yeah, I'd love to hit a 625. We're on track at the moment. Yep. But um, it, it'd be nice to hit that and you know, after that the anxiety of that <laughs> run goes away. But um, you know, it's just being able to go out and train and, and I think it, even like with your body it's just a lot of skin folds I think after you. Mm-hmm. Are they so, still doing skin folds? Yes. Um, cause we've got a DEXA machine. Yeah. Um, but you're only able to do those, I think like three times a year for maybe radiation. Yeah. 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 <laughs> the like, they're running out of the room. Oh, <laughs> no, it's, <laughs> <should> I, <laughs> it's safe for you. Um, I just don't it. think they can do it too often. So it's a, um, they can just do that so they can test you more regularly. To keep yeah. Accountable. So I think I need to get 37 on that and yeah, I'll be touching go there. But, <laughs> Is that, yeah, I, I've got no idea what that translates to in terms of body fat. Well, it's, all, it's all body fat percentage. It's funny because I did, um, I did a, a DEXA or no, no, like a, you hold on to it at a gym. Mm. Do you know what that? Yeah, full, like a full body composition yeah, stand type thing. Um, and I think it was like 13, 13%. But yeah. then it, it, had, it, it only had, no, yeah. it only had muscle and yeah, fat. like it didn't. Yeah. It didn't take into account your like your bones, your bones and stuff. Yeah, okay. where like you're much lower in, in the club, like that. Like you take off your head and like. like yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Right. What about so like two Ks? You said you got one on Monday. Yeah. But like the firstly the anxiety that surrounds any two K oh, club terrible. level. I can't imagine. I get, I, get more, I get more nervous for that than yeah. any game. More nervous than my first game. Where, where do you reckon the fear comes from? Is it running the number or is it the so, actual pain? Because like it, it's a nothing shit run. Right. Like lap three, you're just hurting. I'm yeah. Like, I don't know if you can put this in, but no. when I've done two Ks. <laughs> I've just like that. We always run on like, and there's like a middle railing. Yeah, so yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Every second, like, if I just roll my ankle here, I was done. <laughs> so, no, I don't know if you put that in. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I always think I was like, just like, I'll just pick this That's so ankle, true. Like, well, I, think, I think it's at all levels. Like, I don't know about you on your run, but sometimes when I'm riding and like you're flat out and you're just focusing on not getting dropped, like every thought is like, yeah. I, I can quit now, I can pull out, the pain's <laughs> going to be over. But I reckon like the pain of you quitting in the aftermath yeah. is worse than yeah. the pain. What's the what's the saying? Short term gain for like a long long-term term kind of. That's not the same. Yeah. yeah, we had um, Nick Lavery on the podcast, and he was saying that they like Olympians load up on um, beta alanine because mm. that's like it's like a um, stops you from cramping. Yeah, it stops you from cramping. Mm. So he said it just like 
sends you a bit nuts and he's like you just can't feel pain yeah. so, so the, the olympics are, are rowing and they're just like going nuts he said i didn't feel a thing in like I, that two days yeah. the rollers are there to breathe yeah. 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 yeah no they uh, are a bit nuts do you have any of that stuff for the 2k yeah i'm sure we got something to do yeah yeah, I actually should get on it. The, like, I reckon the anxiety behind it is is kind of from uh, for me. It's more the pain. Yeah, no, I reckon it's it was because it's the longest thing you do, and it's um you're competing against everyone. Um, yeah, in, 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 at, at any level, it's all egotistic. Kind yeah, of guys yeah, and, yeah. Um, and I think for for us, um, like if you don't get your time, you kind of let down the team because you haven't, you know, done the program, etc. Like, yeah, you feel like it. And I suppose that's the work that everyone's going to be doing on the field. Like, if you're not at this fitness level, other people are going to have to pick up, pick yeah, up for you. Yeah, you know, I think it's a big trust thing as well. And I think day one, if you come back and hit your targets, it's a big, you know, a big step into getting everyone's trust. Do you think it's a good gauge for overall fitness, like on the field? Um, I, I don't think so. I think repeat speed work. Yeah, mm. I think some of the all the, the big guys tests. do um that or they do um eleven eleven two hundreds. Um, on the minute so if you, oh. if you get it done in 40 seconds I think 39 is like a, a pretty solid time then yeah. you get a longer rest but you know it's, it's a very hard so they do 11 of those I think that's probably a better gauge but I think mentally I think it's a good one just to get you ready for yeah this, yeah that sounds rest. terrible I don't think I ever drop it I, I'm surprised they're still doing skin fold tests because I remember mm. that used to be like a big uproar it's like body dysmorphia oh, I think that's just, for the draftees because they're actually yeah. like professional athletes yeah, well, I, I'm sure they couldn't get get rid of it. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, like, I suppose I, they're only using it for a while. Flat, but yeah, controversial. Yeah, yeah. not for me, mate. I want to be getting. I'll it. comment on it. Any, so. any skin folds? Uh, what do we have next, Gab? We're, we'll get into the crux of kind of the training, nutrition, structure, everything like that that surrounds mm. the life of an AFL player in that regard. Yep. So your training split, obviously, it would vary within season, off yep. season. Do you want to talk us through that? Yeah, everyone's. Um, Everyone's a little different. I think for for me, I, I like to, I actually really enjoy enjoy the weights room as it might not look like it, but I go yeah pretty well like push pull push pull. Yep. Um, and then legs Monday and Friday. Mm. Um, but the other guys will just do three sessions pretty well nearly total body. Mm. Um, but I, yeah, I just feel like when I'm in there every day, like I just get more out of the like the movement I need to get out of for that day. If I have them all in one session, then I kind of do them all. Yeah, half hours just because you know I'm be in there for three hours. If you know so, what I mean. So is that six weight sessions in the off season or uh, f- five? Yeah, five. So yeah. you do. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. Five. Yeah. yeah. So, so do you like on a day where you're doing kind of do you run first and then weights or is it weights first then run? Uh, run first. Yeah, I, can, I think that's the the priority to, to get that done. Yeah. So get up, do weights, and then you know go get feed, and then you know you, no one really runs by themselves. Mm. Um, yeah, I think you just want to run by yourself. The quality just goes down by yeah. so much. You think it might yeah. feel harder, but then when you've got someone next to you, oh, you um, yeah, run so much better. You know, you don't want to let the gap get any further, etc. Yeah, um, and then do the weights with the with the guys, um, and yeah, and then with the like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, the big sessions, and then Tuesday, Thursday is like a, a cross training. You, you know, just try and get your body moving. Yeah, and just try and get the extras off your legs, a bike. Or, yeah, you know, something like that. And within those push, pull, and leg sessions, what are the kind of movements you're doing? Really focusing on um, all the all the main lifts. I think um, the club are really big on just doing all the you know flat bench, row, mm. such like that. Yeah, um, we've moved off um, back squatting. I think it's you know had too many problems with yeah. backs. Yeah, yeah, me rows. too. I think they're doing um, like it's like a a, a, a hold, like a oh. it's like a Deadlifting a uh, stationary bar that won't, like, doesn't budge. Oh, so, interesting. Um, like a belt squat, maybe? Nah. No. Nah. It's hard to explain. It's like a bar that goes across into like it's locked in and you just hold, like a. Yeah. Like yeah, a well, static hold. That's yeah, cool. static hold. Yeah. Oh, I've actually got no idea what that is. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. I'd have to say it to. It sound, yeah. sounds athletic. Yeah, it does. Um, yeah. What else is there? We do a lot of like, um, what you were guys talking about was it prime time. Yeah, prime yeah. training. Yeah, we do a lot of um, that sort of stuff, but not not as extreme. Um, just functional movements. Yeah. Um, you know, with step ups, etc. Yeah. Um, really explosive movements. Um, so like, look, is, yeah, yeah, plyometric stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. How do you find that? Um, I I don't enjoy it as much, but I feel like it 
trick correlates to the, the game a lot more. Yeah. But it, I wouldn't say it's my favorite thing. We've been asked for programs with like plyometrics and stuff, but we, you just can't administer them because like you need someone there a looking at you yeah. the whole time. Yeah. Because if your your toe is pointing the wrong way, it's like not nah, the whole you know mechanics of the yeah. exercise is wrong. I think that's where you know we're blessed. I used to really mm. really hate the gym when I um, got to the club because I, I I don't know if this is true, but everyone thinks they they can just do it the way they are. Yeah. Um, but then um, we're blessed. Like I just thought I'm getting paid to go to the gym and. Yeah, have a good physique. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you know we've got trainers with us the whole way, setting us through. You know, having yeah program. So pretty blessed in that sense. So to figure out like what your goals are for the gym, do you have a meeting at like the start of the year, and then like your sports and exercise scientists get together and create a program, or do you get split up into kind of lines like your forwards, mids, backs, um, or is it more goal based? No, we 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 test in the gym as well. Mm. Um, and then you have all like, you know, the weights set to your PB yep. percentage wise, mm, yeah, yeah. etc. Um, and they all are, are all different. I think for the, the senior guys, because um, we've had different weights coaches, mm. and when a weights coach will change it up completely, um, the old guys that have, you know, they they're good at communicating and they'll ask what works for them, what mm. they need in their program, what they want. Um, but for the young guys, I think it's more grouped because they don't really know what they want. Mm. Yeah. And then once you figure out what works for you, what you enjoy, yeah. this movement hurts my shoulder, get that, you know. So it's about communicating and just figure out what, what, what works best for you. And is this style training there, some mad hypertrophy working on the pipes? I don't, know, I, don't, I don't know more. <laughs> more um, biogen tries than anything. Yeah, really? yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it looks good. Yeah. Translate to the game or just like for celebration? Well, that double um, you just got to look good in the singlet, I feel. Yeah, yeah. must. Fill it's it nice. out. It's always funny when you see like an AFL, like, like they zoom in, they go into yeah. a set shot and like, what the hell is he an AFL player? His arms are tiny, <laughs> mate. <laughs> I wonder who's got the smallest pipes in the AFL. Yeah, I, I can't be. Pipes is pretty important, yeah. I think. You got to you gotta look good, Lee. You're not going to do it. If yeah. You, if you're well, not going to. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, get ready for Syria. In the off season, you've got the five resistance training sessions. You've got a couple of runs in there. You'd have like some match simulation type things as well. It's pretty hectic volume. Yeah. How does that change when you get in the season? Yeah, so the f- it's similar. So, the running we do in the off season, so like let's just say Monday we'll do a, um, it's a speed session. Mm. And then Wednesday will be a far leg, Friday speed mm. session, mm. Saturday time on legs. The, the, the sessions will stay the same in season, but just with all the dynamic moving, like just handball games, mm. you know, all the footy stuff, and then you've got the session. It's just it's just so different. And um, I think you can do as much running as you want, but when you get into the footy stuff and oh. competing, yeah, your body's just so sore. You're going to be gassed. Yeah. First couple. Do you, it is good. Your body gets used to it as well. Yeah. Do you find you gassed like round one or are you have you kind of blown it out? You know, like in previous the, practice matches. In the season, we do these drills and like it's just like it's, it's a skill session. It's easy. You're just yeah. getting kicks in and then day one, you're doing it and like you get into the cone and you're like launched <laughs> over. Yeah. Um, I'm feeling much better week two now, but yeah, it does take a bit of time. Yeah, yeah. And so like all that exercise, your nutrition's got to be right. Do you guys take any supplements? Like does the club give you guys any supplements? Or um, is it- it's, it's a weird one because even if – the protein, I'm not too sure what it's called, but the protein we get, it gets batch tested by, yep. by mm. Asada. Mm. Yeah, Asada. Yep. And then even if I go, go to Chemist Warehouse and buy the exact same tub, can't, no, can't, can't have it, yeah, can't yeah. be descending the number on the, on the thing and get mm. it batch tested. Pre-workout. Um, yeah, pre-workout, take, yeah. Pre-workout, yeah. Pre-workout, um, yeah. Some people take um, no-dose, caffeine. Mm. Yeah. Is that before, before a game? Oh, okay. Yeah. Before games. I think pre-workout's less before games. Mm. But more more on trainings and stuff like that. Yeah, so that's, was, that's all the preference as well. Right? Yeah. I was in black coffee and then that's me done. Yeah. yeah. I saw Scott Pendlebury had like three no-dos before each game. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty crazy. That's a fair fair bit of caffeine there. I um I it's because I think when I come to Melbourne I've never drank coffee. Yeah. So then I had like a double shot and then I had pre workout. I remember my, my eyes got blurry, I was shaking. I have any caffeine before a game, I'm like <laughs> crippling anxiety. Yeah. <laughs> you get the shakes. Yeah. <laughs> Quaking in my boots. <laughs> Anything else in that? So, like protein powder on occasion, or is it pretty regular? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, po- we've got yeah, like a station where after our weights, you know, we'll have our, all our protein cups. The big closet. Um, yeah, <laughs> we're blessed. It's already made for us. So yeah. it's, 
drink and put back and yeah. 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 Any like electrolytes, amino acids, any um, vitamins and minerals, no, fish game. oils? Yeah, we take a few, uh, I wouldn't say, like we take probiotics and stuff like gut health. And, yeah. Um, the club looks after us in that sense, yeah. but mm. electrolytes, what are those things called? The oh, balls, I smack Yeah, those. like those hydrolyte things. Oh, oh, yeah. They help, I reckon they help out a lot for just like endurance type stuff. Mm. Yeah, no, they're delicious, but uh, yeah. Yep. To think about what was, yeah. It'd be mostly hydration, wouldn't it? Like you'd just be playing catch up all the time with your mm-hmm. hydration if you're running as much as that, yeah. I would have thought. Does the club have like a, a big cafeteria there where you'll get fed or is it um, like your yeah, own? Yeah, so yeah, we have like a Bay Marie's. Is that, is that the word Bay Marie? Yeah, like a, yeah, I think that's yeah, what yeah, it is. Yeah, um, that's it up for, for lunches and then Tuesday, Thursdays have a breakfast put on. Mm. Um, there is a Carlton Cafe as well, but um. That we're, we're going through a bit of like a reno stage, yeah. so mm. it's down at the moment. But yeah, yeah, and, and, and it's good because then you just like one less meal that you have to kind of think about that. Yeah, you know what they're giving you is um you know a well balanced kind of diet. So yes, yeah. all you need to really worry about is dinner. Mm. Um, and yes, yeah, snacks is a supply to the club as well. And how strict is that nutrition regime that they give you? Do, do you have like your set calories, macros, micros that you have to be hitting every day? Or is it pretty flexible? Yeah, it's um. A kind of a bit of a thing is just to the individual. If mm, you don't eat yeah. your skin fold, then you know I think the young kids have to send photos of each meal to the dietitian. Yeah. Um, but then you know I think it's a trust thing. If anything, if you keep hitting targets and um, doing the right thing, then they just they you know they learn to trust you. Um, yeah. Well, it's good because you don't want to be babying through the whole process. Um, some guys are thirty four there, you know. So yeah, if you, yeah. If you do the right thing, um, yeah, you get a bit of leeway. I mean, they'd be trying to create because like you know your body the best. So if you can learn your body the best, yeah. then you can see why they're getting young ones to send photos in. But once you're old enough. Yeah. So essentially, if you're having HSP every night, you're going to get found out and yeah. publicly shamed. <laughs> Hang on a second. Yeah. <laughs> I do enjoy HSP. Oh, mate, they're, they're very Ew. good. <laughs> no, you're not a HSP disgusting. man, are you? Disgusting. Disgusting. I'd take KFC any day. Yeah, uh, I'll probably go as well. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. HSP is depends. I reckon it depends on the HSP joint. Like if it's... Like a real dingy, like Cheap. the meat is like plastic. Yeah. It's just trash, like the chips are cardboard. Then it's like, you really regret that meal. But if it's yeah. like really succulent meat, like the chips are crispy on point and sauces are like, you know, balanced. I reckon that's just- It's unreal. all just so oily though. Like it's, it's mm. not- It's KFC though, it's not good. Yeah, but it's, it's better oil. <laughs> mate, we, we worked there. Okay, we, okay yeah, I mean, yeah. How many chips like did you 14, do? Mate, I was like 14. It single-handedly gave me acne with the, the oil <laughs> of the deep fryer. Yeah, you had to drop the, the deep oh, fryer. Like a whole head in the deep fryer. Never eat gravy again. <laughs> <laughs> it's horrible. What's your- If you go into KFC, mate, what are you getting? Um, Five tenders. Oh, ooh, nice. Two sweet sour sauces. Yeah, five, bro. Five tenders. Yeah. And then like a Zinger burger, chips, and I just like chuck the chips in the Zinger burger. Yeah. Ooh, nice. I, I rate the five tenders to be honest, because that's exactly what I'd be doing. Yeah. I'm um I'm always like any burger and the, with burger and chips or chocolate chips in the burger. Yeah. Don't really. Know, don't know why. It's quite rare. So, so you're a bit of a burger man. No, no, not really. Just, yeah. Just if you if you if you yeah. you're a burger man, aren't you? Love a burger. You see, I don't get all the rage about a burger. I reckon it's just pretty average. You're kidding. Now the thing is, it's like a wrap though, because you you're getting every taste. In one bite, I reckon it's just I too much going on. It's yeah, yeah I'm saying I reckon it's too much going on. Or like a, a Nando's pitta. Yeah, I reckon yeah, that's something else. Yeah, best. interesting. But then you like with the burger, nothing comes out the bottom. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Gav's got some little hand on him, so little mitts. Yeah, there. mate. You know what they say about small hand? <laughs> yeah, I'm a little hobbit, mate. A short king. <laughs> short king. All right, well, let's talk about game day. It's so, like your process behind that. Are you are you really like meticulous in, in how you, like obviously you are for preparation, but yeah. um, in terms of kind of like, like do you have to wear special underpants? Like you can only put one sock on before the other. Yeah. What's your process before walking out um, of the field? No, nah, not really. I've kind of always... Try to go the opposite way. Like, it doesn't matter what I wear, I'm still going to be able to perform, yep. whether it's true or not. Like, yeah. It probably hasn't been the case. But um, in terms of preparation, it's pretty pretty routine. But then I don't want for something to happen that, you know, I can't, mm. can't get this meal, I can't have lunch at mm. 12 01. Yeah. If it doesn't happen, then I'm stressing out. So Throws you off. I try and just keep it loose, try and have a few markers that I want to hit. Mm. Um, and tick off, but yeah, I, yeah. But some people are so to the to the minute and with their food and, and stuff like that. But then if it doesn't all work out, you know, with COVID, we've been saying it 
Um, we were yeah. in Adelaide. We stayed in cricket nets for five hours before the game. Yeah. Right? So like that, you know, when it, stuff like that, I feel like it doesn't phase me. But, yeah. Um, yeah. Why would you have to be in cricket nets for five hours? I think, I think, I don't know. I actually don't remember. Isolation or something. I think it was isolation and we got kicked out of our hotel and then we went into cricket nets. <laughs> First, like, 30 minutes, we were actually like, from Thunderbolts down there. <laughs> 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 but it was a long day. Yeah. We were playing cards. <laughs> and then, yeah, but like an hour later, everyone was just like headphones in, game mode. Yeah. Um, but it, it gets pretty serious pretty quickly. But was, yeah. Is there a time? But, is there a time of day or week you prefer? Like I, I love the, like the Friday night game yeah. or the Saturday Arvo. Like, mm-hmm. what's your favorite? Well, Thursday night game. Yeah. Like, because we get a round one against Richmond every year. That's. Pretty cool. We had 93 a couple of years ago against oh. them um, after their first flag, actually. Which yeah, 93,000. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Which was which was bizarre, um, but probably like the um, like the one o'clock games, two o'clock at the G because yeah. you wake up, that's classic. Get ready, you year into it. Um, where the night games like 750 we've had this year. It's like, what do you do? It's a long day. Yeah, yeah. like your whole day would be consumed. Yeah, by it. so I kind of get up um, same time as every day, and then. Play PlayStation, go play basketball with the yeah. boys, and then once twelve o'clock hits, and then that that's kind of like when you wake up. If it was a two o'clock game, so mm. start your routine then. Try and have the the morning pretty loose, or then it's just it's too long. Yeah, yeah, you wouldn't want to dial in too early. You'd lose. Yeah, so easy to overplay the game. Yeah, train in so like freak out. Yeah. yeah, what about music? Like, so before a game, do you do you chuck the headphones in or? Um. Yeah, I do. But, get into um, your own space, kind usually of. Usually, come in with um. You know other players as well, so I don't want to just have the headphones in. So yeah. communal music, and then once we actually get to the ground, we have to hand in our phones because uh, for betting policies, yep. etc. Yep. So we've just got um some people have their headphones in and have like you know their, their iPods, but yep. just like yeah, yeah the smartwatch, a, yeah, the yeah, um, team speaker. Um, yeah, who's on the tunes? Um, the probably sure is. I oh really? Is um, well, I can ten years ago. Guy that was on the music, he's just kept the same playlist, so it's the same playlist. Yeah, really. Yeah, is it getting a bit dry? Like, um, yeah, re- rejuvenated it a little bit. It is. I think he must be adding his own music because, yeah, yeah. It's if you ever need a couple of a bit of a hype crew to come in before the game, Gavin yeah. and I can come in. <laughs> yeah, you'll play Dean Lewis and I'll chuck on, I'll chuck on 6 9, mate. How about that? Be all right before the game. Talk, talk about a juxtaposition. <laughs> I'm in. Not good, <laughs> Get on the dance. Fish is in tears before the game. <laughs> <laughs> just want to- right, you're playing with emotion. You catch a dub, I reckon. <laughs> Run through the first ball. Nah, it's good. It's good. So, what about recovery after a game? You finish up. What are you? Um, I think it's some of the boys' favorite, like after the game, because you're able to, you know, eat shit after like real burgers and pieces. Yeah, and yeah. Germs, and, I want one now. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, like milk drinks, etc. Um, but we all just jump in the ice baths and then um, head home, try and stay. Yeah, obviously the, don't drink in yeah. season. Um, and then the next day we'll do a recovery day, go for a walk, stretch, um, mm. have a rotations in the sauna and, um, and in the water. Mm, so. Is yeah. there a club sauna? There is a club sauna, yes. Yeah. gets absolutely works. Even before like the skin folds, like there's like oh, 20, 20 boys in there just sweating it out. Mate, it makes you 10% leaner, I reckon. <laughs> yeah, like, no, absolutely. Like it's, it's only a couple of jockeys before the Melbourne <laughs> Cup. Put like the, the black paper, the black yeah. bag over Just get in the sauna. You don't have to complicate things with the bags. <laughs> oh, mate, the bag make it even more difficult. Yeah, is that like a traditional sauna or an infrared? Um, It's a steam. Like a steam room, not steam, a not a dry yeah. sauna? No, it's not a dry sauna. Ooh, yes. I like the dry saunas. Yeah, better, yeah. But- you know, I'm not here. Real Russian it. style, put it, yeah, <laughs> the water on. But and yeah. like, are you rotating and having a cold shower in between? Um, yeah, so I, I'm terrible in the ice baths, but I usually just saw it for like 10 minutes and then plunge in the ice baths. Mm. Yeah. Staying there as long as I can. Yeah. yeah, just in the ice bath. And always finishing on cold? Yeah. Yeah, good stuff. Oh, yeah. That sounds like an unreal recovery process. No, it's good. Yeah. Um, Oh, it just makes it so much easier when you know, you're doing it as a group, and yeah, it's so much easier after a win when you can have have a laugh. When, when you lose, um, you know, I th- you know we really um, preach win or lose, try not to yeah. affect your emotion, but yeah, you know, the vibes would be way better after it a is win. a lot easier yeah. said than done. Yeah, and like we all know, sauna chats are some of the best chats you have. The best, like just <laughs> every we every create, opens up. We create create a nine to five off the back of sauna chats. Yeah. Really, <laughs> pretty um, much. Yeah, probably. <laughs> 
awesome. good fun. So what about like fluctuations during the year in terms of weight? Like I know personally, if I like start the year at let's say 80 kilos, bit, bit chungus, probably finish like the year at about 75. Do you notice a big fluctuation in weight or are you so um, dialed in that? Yeah, yeah. It, it's it's easy in the pre-season than in the games, but I feel like what I, um, I struggle is like when you get little injuries or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. You know, you, you get in every week and you've got sore knee, like, you know, you've got corkies. It's just mm. so hard to mm. get through the movements. Um, and for me, if I get sick, I just, like, lose so much weight. Yeah. Because yeah. like, you don't want to eat when you're sick. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm big on that. Yeah. 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 No, but I think little niggles to try and push through. Like the, the gym stays pretty similar, probably less on your legs. Yeah. But um, yeah, even my shoulders. And That's right. Like that. um, yeah. The other thing I wanted to ask about on the recovery, we've been really enjoying going for a, like a cold dip in the ocean. Is that like, I know people are saying it doesn't do anything for your recovery, but I reckon the mental benefits are huge uh, for yeah, it. Is it something you guys still do? Yeah, I agree. And it, there's, there's like been studies where, you know, oh, ice pilots are a myth, et cetera, but like just getting in there, I can mentally fix mm. it down. Um, yeah. And even like mental toughness, like I just think it's a really good thing to do. Yeah, it's a challenge. Um, that, yeah. that kind of vulnerability and I think it is it is a mindset thing. Oh, and I think even just... You do it, you get moving, you're not just sitting on the couch, you're actually moving in the water. And mm. Apparently yeah. half of the thing with like ice baths or any kind of water-based recovery is it's more the compression from the water. Yeah. So that's like the compression like generates blood flow or whatever. Yeah. So I reckon an ice bath would be unreal just to have one here. Oh, yeah. Plenty Next cool. to the sauna. Yeah. Get, a, get a bin filled up. Yeah. yeah. It's not the same though, I have, have a barrel up at the farm. Yeah. should bring it down. So what about downtime? Or do you have anything else on that topic, Gab? I think, yeah. No, nah, we've done it to yeah. death, mate. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, poor bastard. <laughs> um, downtime, like footy, have you know, big game throughout the week. It's like your whole life, and then you're kind of expected to just like switch off. What do you do to switch off? Like, what's your kind of go to? Um, for me, yeah, I was yeah, saying before. I think in the season and in, well, and in the off season, I do enjoy my game. I think um, it's something that when you know you chuck the head, headset on, and you just kind of escape everything. You know, you, it's you know form of just being present i guess like yeah something else to focus on i guess um you know try and hone your craft on the sticks or whatever but yeah um it's good and then also with that um being able to communicate with you know my brothers and friends back home it's mm. not a phone call I'm not, not very good on phone calls so just being able to spend a couple of hours with your mates yeah and just hear their voice talk shit um and other than that probably like yeah i enjoyed basketball and tennis but um in season um, a little bit harder to do with your body just yeah. to try to keep that keep that right yeah and what about like like I know a lot of getting into kind of meditation mindfulness do you, does the club have much to do with that or is it kind of on your own um, yeah they, they obviously are really big on it um, yep. for me like yoga um, sorry not for me I'm terrible with that. I yeah, can't yeah. sit still at all um, <laughs> they push it up there they really they highly rate it but it's something that if you don't want to be there you know, sometimes it can get a bit wasted, but like it, it works for some players and it doesn't for others, does yeah. it? You can't just like yeah. put everyone into a group and be like start meditating. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. even for like meditation, um, Ed, Ed Cannon has got ADHD and can't yeah. sit still, but then yeah, he loves surfing. He's surfing. It's just I think for me, it's just about being present and um, yeah, not being caught up in too much. If that makes sense. Yeah, having that escape and something. Yeah, yeah like when you're on, you're on with the footy, but it's really important to switch yeah. off. Like. For me, like cycling on the bike, I feel like it's a meditative thing. You yeah. can just escape. Nothing else in the world matters. Yeah, I even feel like that with gym in a sense. Yeah. yeah like, oh, yeah, I suppose so. I even though, so. would you... Yeah, I know it's very prescribed by the club and structured. Do you... Like, it's essentially your job, but you're saying that's kind of like your off time as um, well? No, it, it is different. I, I really yeah. enjoy the off-season because, you know, you're not getting made to do it. Um, mm. You know, just headphones in. Um, and then at the club, it is a bit different because even like now, we're not fully back, but I'm training at the club and then going off to another gym where I've got a gym two metres from like, yeah. at the club mm-hmm. to then go do it elsewhere. A bit of a freshen up and, um, yeah, less eyes watching you, I guess. Like, yeah. People critiquing you on every rep and yeah, um, mm. some of you just want to go in there and put the headphones on. And do you have like a hobby or an activity that is your escape? Like you mentioned, Ed yeah. Kona with the surfing. I'd say gaming. Like you yeah. just don't think about anything. It's just the mm. task at hand. Yeah. Have you always been like a big gamer through the childhood and things like yeah, that? Massively. Yeah, massively. Is that in sport? It's never nothing else. Not just really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. My mum was so, it's so weird. Like talking to my friends, like we game, even mum, like on Christmas. Mum's on the games. On, yeah. So we, she used to play Russian Clank all the time. <laughs> yeah. Unreal. Um, and 
we'd like we'd go to Christmas shop and set and she'd open up the Christmas presents and play it. So we, we bought two of those, yeah. <laughs> Always been big on the sticks. Bumsy. Yeah. <laughs> big on the sticks. Oh, I was going to say, maybe I should get the Xbox from mum and dad's house. It's right there, but the only thing we ever use it for is like Netflix, Netflix yeah. and Spotify. We should get on it. I genuinely don't think I've played Xbox in like two and a half years. FIFA? And FIFA? mate, I used to be addicted. That was the thing. Yeah, it's so, it's so addictive. Yeah. But I feel the, the only bad thing with it is um, time obviously goes like that. Yeah. It's just, you're not very productive, but... Yeah. yeah, I mean, no, if, you, if you're on and you've been productive in that period, I feel like, yeah. what's the what's the issue? But it sounds like, yeah. Maybe we should get back into it, mate. Let's get back into it, yeah. the tournament. What do you want to play? Uh, COD. Uh, COD? I uh, got, a, like, aggressively addicted to Modern Warfare 2, MW2, or MW3 for, like, probably six months, yeah. and mum and dad said, nah. Mate, your level of addiction it. would be, like, two hours a day, I reckon. <laughs> no. Mine was, like, probably, like, 14 hours a day. Like, yeah. For when Fortnite peaked... It was oh, like we'd, we'd set alarms on our off days to get up and play <laughs> and then get off for lunch with the, the Fortnite squad and then we'd get home and play again. It's yeah, crazy, man, how but... simple was life back then? Like, I didn't have a worry in the world. It was crazy. <laughs> it did. <laughs> Mate, all about it. No. <laughs> yeah, Fortnite days were very good. I reckon it was like Fortnite and FIFA. Though. Sorry to interrupt this program, but we have a podcast sponsor and today's podcast sponsor is Manscaped. Manscaped, the new 4.0. Mate, the lawnmower 4.0, it's very good. It makes my legs look way more anabolic. Mm. They were getting a bit hairy, mate. Yep. So gave him a quick whack with the manscaped in the shower. And mate, Bob's your uncle. Yeah, it limits cuts and stuff. But mm. if you put this this uh, special cover that comes mm. with it over the clippers. I'm, you then... see, I'm not so much of a cover man. I, I like to just- Yeah, you go raw. Yeah, go raw, mate. You go zero. Yeah, and I get it really fine. Yep. And legs are just like so smooth, like okay. looking nice and tan, especially at the moment. We want to get a bit of color on our legs. You know, nothing healthy about a tan, but a tan does make it look more anabolic. Yeah. And of course, a good trick to make them look more tan is remove the hair. What can people do if they want to get one and support us? Yeah, if you guys do want to support us, you can hop onto the Manscaped website and use code NTF. Mm. Now that'll give you 20% off and free shipping. Also help us out a little bit. I think every man... Girls already have this stuff sorted, the um the grooming department. Mostly, yep. But every man needs a manscaped, I think. You yep. know, they've got a bunch of good things on their website. They've even got nail clippers. Oh my gosh. Um, things like that. So even the ball deodorants give it a spray, oh, the cop, crop reviver. Yeah. I'm not exactly sure what it does, but it feels bloody good, doesn't it? It feels good. That's all you need to know. Yeah, exactly. And yeah, manscaped, it's good for like your chest areas, your legs, and obviously the kind of more delicate family jewel type areas yep. around there. Yep. So Keep it looking sharp, smelling nice. Uh, let's get back to the podcast. So we've got a very bring mailbag. People send letters to our house and we've unraveled a few of them. Well, the second you say we've got an AFL player on the podcast, it's, it's panic stage. Yeah, it's everyone's oh, get, him, get him in, get him in. So, yeah, yeah. anyway, who starts off? Oh, okay. Because, uh, yeah, it is Lockie Harker with some weird numbers in his name to make it sound really cool. Yeah. Advice on getting drafted, question mark. Very good um, one. Yep. Simple, e easy, easy start. There. Easy start. I think pretty boring answer, but just having fun. Like you don't want to make it a job before it's a job. Mm. Um, work, obviously work hard, but um, yeah, just have fun with it. Like there's, I still play footy, but it's fun. Um, and yeah. I think people lose a lot of passion when it becomes a chore or too hard. So um, you can only really do the work if you know you're still enjoying it and having fun with your mates. Mm. Yeah. So Moz M asks, were you the star of the team growing up, or did you have to grind grind your way out? Like I remember, I played against you know played with or against people who got drafted. It's like they are dead set, no way they're not going to make it. Mm. Um, um, and you see it. Like were you the same? Or I was, was it never? I never wanted to be an answer or anything. I was always yeah. like second or third. Yeah. Um, in year twelve, come seventh in the best and fairest. I think it's because I was a bit selfish um, yep. as a player. The coach didn't like me. Like to go. Um, the only the only thing I got best first was the state eighteen. So yeah, um, where it counts. I, uh, yeah, I, where it matters. Yeah. Just turn it on. It's consistent, but I think every yeah. level that I went up to, I was able to. You know, my performance didn't drop too much. So yeah. you've always kind of been like the top group of players, but not necessarily like. The oh, I've never one. been. I've never been tagged in my life. Still. Oh really? Never like that. Have you ever tagged? No, I can't. I'm not good enough for that. 
Never tag. Shit, day in the office. Yeah. Yeah. Only, only a 622k shit. Try, try tagging with a TikTok account. <laughs> it's a shit day in the office. <laughs> That's fucking That's tears. And some of the abuse A couple of bruises in there. <laughs> oh, mate. Bruises up here in the mental. <laughs> I thought you said we weren't getting deep. Yeah, no, we're not getting deep. Uh, this one's a funny one. Do you want to ask? I don't know. Uh, no, you ask because it's more like a free. So, well, no, nah, not really. Like, George.Lee asks, socks, sock, shoe, sock, shoe, or do you go sock, sock, shoe, shoe? Sock pants. Oh, what? <laughs> Get out of here. Um, I'm, I'm a sock, sock, shoe, shoe guy. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Socks. I'm sock, shoe, sock, shoe. You would. Really? And you, you know what? Sock, shoe, sock, shoe, then pants. Oh, oh man. Like, I've shorts. seen you do that, I reckon. <laughs> yeah. I reckon I've seen you do that. Is that weird? That. That's your fact. Yeah. And then oh, t-shirt cool. after. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. What are yeah. those pants? Yeah, if it's pants and then no way they're fitting on. But if it's like loose shorts, then... Like they're going you do, over. Do. Why are you doing that? I don't know. It's just a habit, isn't it? It's like you're putting tomato sauce in your pasta, mate. Why do you do it? <laughs> mate, it's from Italy. Oh, like, it's, no, no, it's just disgusting. <laughs> Let it up. Uh, what's the next one? Uh, what do we have? We got Oz.Sterling. Is it true AFL players wear Speedos instead of Undies? Fact. Yeah. Fact. Yeah. Fact. Yeah, everyone. Really? Um, either skins or budgies. Yep. Yeah. Speedos, budgies are the ones. What's your what's your brand? Do you, do you go budgies, budgies, budgies smugglers? Yeah. Because what brands are there? There's like the speed speedo like original ones and the budgie smugglers. I don't know, yeah. Yeah, yeah, those are the kind of the, the main ones. I got ones called nut huggers, but they're a little bit tight for me now. Oh really? really? Um, you got, he's yeah. got that dump truck, mate. Got that. All, the, all the hip thrusts. Yeah, sometimes lose a nut, but that's all right. You yeah, <laughs> gotta find them. Um Jordan Cox asks how to make it. Um how did you set yourself apart from the rest? That's, I assume that's in, in terms of like getting drafted and stuff. Yeah. I think like a big thing is trying to look a little bit different. Did you do anything in particular? Oh, in terms Tricks? of like ground load work sort of thing? No, nah, nah. getting drafted, I would have thought. Like how do you stand out? Mm. Um, I just think, yeah, like being a small player, like just having like too many gaps in your game, I think. Just trying to like have big, like really good kind of everything. Yeah, skills, yeah, across yeah, the whole platform. Like just, if when you know if you're a six four, you can have a few flaws, but then you've got that yeah. athleticism. But yeah, an all rounded game. A big dumb ruckman <laughs> rubbing two brain cells together. Yeah, so you're you're saying you have to be like consistently good if you're a small player, like think, you yeah, can't yeah. stuff up. Yeah, I'd say. across the board. Yeah, yeah. right. Okay, Makes one sense. touch, one touch, clean, good skill set. Yeah, like, and you just got to be a jet to stand out essentially. So Even though, yeah, like, there's so many. Gun small players, but um, they don't get drafted. Yeah. Mm. Um, and I feel like I was lucky enough. Cause I actually in the WA comp, um, the like tack couple, the uh, our yeah, yeah. Carolina a waffle club. So when I was seven, I was able to play against men there. Yeah. So um, I guess it was good to allow like for the recruiters to see that I could play against men. Mm. Where I think sometimes young guys over here. Don't get to show that like they can dominate against other kids, but don't get to sh- prove that they can dominate. Dom- yeah, dominate. dominate against men. Sorry. Mm. Yeah, that's so true. That's such a big one, isn't it? Oh, like, the second you play like, against bigger bodies, to, I've never thought I'd get drafted until I got drafted. Yeah, I even, yeah, got the um, Aliens MVP, but I still didn't think I was going to get drafted. Yeah, really. And then, yeah. What was that like that night? That you, were you in disbelief? Like, yeah. Uh, so I, I, I couldn't even watch it with my family. I was so nervous because. Mm. I went on the farm with my partner. Um, mm. She was on the header. And I, um, oh, really? I'm not on a farm. So I was just sitting <laughs> it's half a season right now. <laughs> yeah, it was around this time. Get on it, it would have been. Yeah, sure. yeah. Um, and I was just sitting there on the phone and then um, pick 27 come and I'm like, I'm at pick 24. Yeah. And it was like so delayed and I started getting caught text messages. Oh, was true. So bizarre, but... It was weird. It yeah. Was weird. Oh, mate, that'd be the best. Yeah. I love watching those videos. So you were too out. nervous to even watch it, like, with family and yeah. stuff? Yeah. Or- oh, because more so if I didn't get drafted, it's like the... Disappointing. Oh, you're all right. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah like, Arm around you. I think, like, yeah, I just didn't want to watch it with anyone. I just wanted yeah. to be with myself. And yeah. if, I got, if I got drafted, I got drafted. And then, obviously, went home to my family and celebrated. But yeah. I think it was the more if I didn't get picked up, the, you know, oh, shit, like... Yeah, and if people feeling sorry for me, etc. Yeah, it's like, kind of awkward. Yeah, because you uh, you see that that footage of like mm-hmm. when it's a successful draft applicant, you know them around the couch yeah. and the family and the friends and the girlfriend and the dogs all there and they're all everyone's in screaming. uproar. But like, you don't see the ones that don't happen. I think they get deleted. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I, I just would have. That's 
almost my second biggest fear. I'm yeah. Being terrible. Yeah. Not getting drafted. Yeah. <laughs> well, mate, you did. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> Keep going. Um, last question, which is from an absolute legend called Lewis Phillips, one <laughs> two says biggest spray from coaches. Um, from a coach can be juniors, can be seniors. Uh, I, don't, I probably won't tell this story very well, but in our school cup, like it's pretty, it's like pretty big over there. What, yep. what do they call the private schools here? APS. Uh, APS. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's PSA. And this is the last game. <laughs> the last game that, we, and we lost the cup on this this like this last game. And mm-hmm. it legit sits us all down and like goes to every one of the players, <laughs> just pots and then it goes to, like this next guy. He's like, Matt George, you're all gonna be fucking fat. Uh, <laughs> gets me. He's like. Recruiters come here, they'll be thinking, oh, you're fucking joking. Like, oh, <laughs> around, like, that's so around, right. Like, every player. Oh, I was just sitting there and I was like, Alonzo, oh, you're fucking hell. Play pretty shit. <laughs> but probably warranted. Cop it on the chin, yeah. yeah. Have you did many big slack sprays in the AFL? Like, obviously, you don't need to name names, but a few screamers? Not, not, as, not as many. Um, yeah. <laughs> Few twitchy eyes and it is yeah. pretty scary. Um, <laughs> oh, man. More in the more in the reviews as well. I think you get you get them a bit as well. Like, yeah. You know, during the week reviews, um, by players as well. Not sprays, but you know, a bit of tough love. Yeah. Just, you know, You're not running. Good. Not running both ways. <laughs> Had that <one. laughs> Yeah. A few times. <laughs> Too good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nah. Well, that's all I got. I don't know about you, mate. Um. Yeah. I think I'm blank, mate. You're blank. Blank. Well. Fish, mate, the biggest fish we've had. Uh, thanks so much for coming yeah, on. Pleasure, we really appreciate it. It's been fantastic. Hopefully, we do another one in the future and uh, good luck for season 2022. Thank you. Hopefully, you can nap out of it. Yeah, we will. Awesome. Thank you. See ya.